my thumb. Okay. So be okay. 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 So, okay. so with the seizures with Caleb, they happen for two very broad reasons. One is reasons that have to do with things within the head or the brain directly. Epilepsy, um, you know, tumors in, in boxers, you're quite familiar. Yeah. Meningitis, other problems within the brain, they all happen here directly to cause seizures. Then there's a whole number of conditions that happen from the neck down in the body that they travel through the bloodstream and they affect the brain to cause the dog to have a seizure. Liver trouble, blood sugar uh, abnormalities, um, uh, cardiac uh, heart problem, and, th and they all do their thing down here, but again, they travel to the brain and they cause the dog to have a seizure. The traditional way to evaluate this type of problem in the beginning is to look from the neck down first. And so we do that with, a, with blood right. and urine and generally a set of x-rays okay. from the neck down. If that's all clear, don't tell me an MRI. The likelihood is that it's probably up here in the brain. And then if you're going to get a diagnosis, it would be an MRI. Right. But in not all circumstances do we do that. If the dog is otherwise happy and well and active, I would say the majority of dogs who have epilepsy, for example, they don't get brain MRIs. Yeah. They just, we just treat them okay. with, uh, with, with seizure meds. Okay. Now, whether it's phenobarbital you know, or whether it's other ones depends upon mm -hmm. each case. Okay. So, that's what we do. So, let's start with the blood and the x-rays and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, we'll now, rescue, in the meantime, contain the costs. Mm -hmm. Thank well, you. We get, your, we get your discount. We I know you do. <laughs> Thank you. That's always so meantime, helpful. Since, uh, it takes a couple so days. by me right now, <laughs> and then. Um, sorry, I just have my agent call. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the meantime, Ooh, we have a question of phenobarbital. Yeah, I smell that stinky yeah. so boxer gas. In retrospect, I should have given it this morning. You should. Wait, I wasn't sure about the dosage. This was the vet at the shop. 90 milligrams is reasonable. Is it? Oh, okay. Twice a day. Yeah. Good. Okay, okay then. I'm gonna need he loves me. Look, he comes I, I need a prescription. I He's so have used it. to me. So we're going to need phenol. Oh, precious boy. And you're going to do blood, urine, and ah. x rays of the abdomen. And now? Jethro okay. was a playful little okay. boy. Where are you going, Caleb? Okay, can you give me, you know what, let me check with CCC how long it takes. Hopefully, 30 minutes, maybe? Yeah, so, we can come back. All right, sit back for a second. Isn't he a good right. dog? Yeah, he is. He's a good boy.